The rest of the time while I was in Paris, I went around and explored more of the city. I had one of the best eclairs in town. It may have been expensive, but it was well worth it. My cousin Janelle and I also ventured over to the Jewish Quarter one day to have lunch. We ate it with the craziest falafel stand I've ever seen before. Falafels were only six euros, but it was lined up around the block in both directions. Easily one of my favorite things to do while I was in Paris was go to parks. My favorite park was Juxenberg Park, where they had little boat races going on, people just sitting back and relaxing, having picnics. I was also able to do some people watching and check out some of the local entertainment. No matter where you go, there's always something going on. While you're in Paris, make sure to see the light up of the Eiffel Tower. It starts at 10 o'clock every night, and after that it lights up for 5 minutes every hour on the hour after 10. On the fifth day I was in Paris, I made my way on a train down to Versailles. It's about a 20 minute train ride, and it is a pretty crazy thing to check out. This video that's showing right now is not any of my work, it's actually one of the videos that they show at Versailles but I thought I'd just show you what it looks like when all the water gardens are going. If you're planning on going to Versailles, make sure you get there early. I went on a Tuesday, which is apparently a slow day. I got there at 9 o'clock, half an hour before it opened, and I still had to wait in line half an hour before being able to get in. Versailles is like Disneyland for adults. There are people everywhere. I understand that it's one of the largest palaces in the world, but it's still pretty nuts. The artwork's all well preserved and it's very beautiful to walk around. It's a bit claustrophobic when you're inside Versailles, but once you get out to the gardens and start walking around, you can get lost out there for hours. The gardens are just very beautiful to relax in. I actually brought a little picnic, so when I was there I was able to sit down, have my lunch, and enjoy the garden. My last day in Paris, I went and visited the Alex Ross exhibit, an exhibit dedicated to one of my favorite comic book artists. It was really cool to check out, and as I was leaving the museum, I overheard some music down by the river Saint and went and checked it out. There's about 200 people enjoying the beautiful weather and dancing. Lots of people were sitting around taking pictures and checking it out but I thought I'd join in for at least one song. And that was my time in Paris. I had a great time being able to catch up with my cousin Nell, meet new friends, try some new food, and explore a city that I've always wanted to.